I have some stories about tree spirits and trees for you. A few days ago I was walking down a mountain and I, I noticed a tree because trees have been my friends since childhood. And I noticed a tree that had lost a huge limb and the limb was lying beside the trail. So naturally I looked up to the tree and the tree was pretty upset at the loss of that limb. And so I gave it a blessing and I started to go off. And then I heard the tree talking about how upset it was um, about its footing on the hill. So I turned back and I saw that, that the there was a little ridge, just a little ridge. The tree was on the top like this, and on the far side, well, on one side was the, the, the um, trail, and on the far side was a great drop, right? And so the tree was talking to its tree spirit about how upset it was about the precarious nature of its, where it stood and how it had lost a limb. So f first I said, at least you lost a limb on the right right side there because if you had lost a limb on the other side you might have fallen over into the trail and that would have been the end of that because people would have come and cut you up and it, and then the tree was pretty upset still so I asked the tree spirit to talk to the tree and here's here, here is what happened the tree spirit was saying I know what you should do Take this root here that's going down into the ground and grow it very, very strong and you will be all right. And yet the tree was very upset. So I, I called for the deva who guards all the forest around there and he came around and took a look along with the tree spirit. And the deva said, First the Deva said to me, I know all about these trees and I take care of all of them. This is not your concern. I will take care of it. It's a good thing he said that because I was thinking maybe I should go back and bring along a shovel and try and shore up the, the, um, the edge of the trail there so that the tree wouldn't fall over. And I was thinking, I'm, I don't think I'm strong enough to do all that work. And, and the tree spirit had been, the tree spirit said, "Just roll down that boulder over there. It will be all be okay." And I said, "You don't understand. We humans are kind of puny." <laughs> and so, and so I can't, I can't. Oh, it said puny humans. <laughs> so this this conversation had gone on with the tree spirit, and the Dave already knew all this stuff. The Davis are quite quite wise. They live for thousands of years and they, they learn a lot and know a lot from each other and from the natural world and who knows where else. So anyway, the, the Deva said to the tree, it was like it was hugging the tree, you know, with love, that it's going to be all right. In a few years there will be a storm and you will fall down this way, the side towards the cliff. And from there, you will grow up bright green new sprouts and become a strong tree. And you could just feel the tree. The tree just was so happy, you know, it was so happy. It knew what was going to happen and it was prepared. And so the Deva says, prepare yourself for that day. It's going to be all right. And so, big relief to me. <laughs> That's story number one. <laughs> so a week later, I was walking by a big old oak tree on the trail, and I, I was, in fact, stopped for a minute to look for tree spirits. And I guess you all know that it's easy to see tree spirits because they actually dwell within the trunk of a tree, or at, usually at the base of a tree, there may be a few circling around. And you can see them because they look a little bit like a human form <laughs> or a face. And so I saw one tree spirit. It looked kind of like an angel. It was really cool. Near the base of this huge oak tree in the mountains. 
and it was a fine tree. So I said, what a wonderful tree you have there. I congratulate you on this tree, which shades all of the grasses round and all the little creatures. And you've done a wonderful job for the sake of the forest. And, and the tree spirit said, oh yes, I know. <laughs> so, so then I was looking around because large trees have quite a few tree spirits sometimes. And I saw another tree spirit and it was on a branch. The branch was going like this, and it looked just a little bit not quite right. You know, I said, what is this here? What do we have here? And the tree spirit there, it said, we do our best. <laughs> and so, so I said, I'm sure you do. I'm sure it will be just fine. And then the next branch over, there was another tree spirit. I said, hello. It said, I'm just here to keep the other one company. I said, I see. So I went on a little bit down the trail, just a little bit, and then I noticed all the other trees, the, 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 the children trees that were around the, the tree. And I, so I addressed the tree and the tree spirits one more time. I said, by the way, congratulations on all your fine young children. And they said, we thank you. And as I went on, they said, this is a new day on earth. The people are starting to talk to us again. <laughs> so here's the last story. I was on my way home. I noticed another little oak tree. And next to it were were branches that some well-meaning person had come along the trail and cut these branches off to make more room for the people to walk by. But the, the branches were like brown and, and, and dead and they were scattered about here and there and on down the side of the hill. So I said, hmm. And the spirit of that tree said, I want my branches closer to me. <laughs> and so I said, okay. So I went and, and slowly but surely picked up all the little branches and put them around the tree. And I started to put some around another tree right near there because there wasn't a whole lot of room. And the other tree said, I don't want those branches. <laughs> Apparently I trespassed on some tree taboo that I didn't know about. So I said, I'm very sorry. And then I asked the first tree, I said, would it be all right if I put them around on the other side? And it said yes. It said, "Why do you want those? Why do you want those those branches around you?" And it said, "I just like them near me." So there are three tree stories for you. In case you want to learn how to talk to trees and tree spirits, you can. And the minute you start doing that, you'll gain a wealth of information about how we humans can live once more at one with the natural world. <laughs>